NookieNotes.com presents the top 10 reasons to Nookie. You know, get it on. Horizontal bop. Four-legged frolic. Yeah, have sex. We all love to have sex, but sometimes our busy lives get in the way. We're hoping that this video will give you the reasons you've been needing to make doing the love dance a priority in your life. For example, we'll tell you in reason number 10 that you have some catching up to do if you like competition. Reason number 8 will explain how the big O reduces stress. Reasons 3 and 4 explain how making the beast with two backs makes you more attractive. And in reason 1, we'll get to the heart of the matter and talk about how sex deepens intimacy. Not that we need reasons to have sex, just that some of us need reasons to have more and better sex and to make it a priority in our lives. So let's get started and have some fun with the top 10 reasons to nookie. Reason number 10. Because the French get it more often than you do. Who says the French get more nookie? Durex does. Or at least Durex did in 2004. In that year, people globally were having sex an average of 103 times per year, with women having sex more often than men in a surprising upset. The United States clocked in at 111 times per year, or once every 3.28 days, about twice per week. I can live with that. But hey, sex is a good thing, and more of a good thing is, well, more of a good thing. So as a U.S. citizen, I'm all for increasing our national average. Reason number nine, because you're in a rut. The difference between a rut and a grave is the depth of the hole. We all know it. As soon as we can label our relationships as being in a rut, we know we're not happy. Something's not quite right. Something's missing. And if it's not fixed, it may, you know, die. If you want to let your relationship die, more power to you. I've been there. Thing is, if that's what you want, you probably wouldn't be watching this video. So you want to make it work. Excellent! Because Nookie is better with a partner you love and care for. So how can sex break us free from that relationship rut? 1. Sex increases the warm fuzzies, the cuddlies, and the love you feel, reason number one to Nookie. Two, sex makes you smarter, reason number five to Nookie, and the love you get increases your creative thinking. Sex fights off depression in number three, which can make a rut seem deeper and more insurmountable than it actually is. Number four, planning a good seduction is way more fun than finding law and order on TV at every hour of the day. In 5, sex is lubrication for your relationship. It smooths things along. When you're not having sex, you may find that your mate's actions are rubbing you raw in all the tender spots. Chances are good that he or she hasn't changed that much since you met. After all, you still love him or her and you're here watching this video. But you're noticing the negatives more. Sex will help you ignore the less important aggravations and focus on what really matters. Number 6. When the sex is great in a relationship, it's 10% of your relationship. When it's not so great, it becomes a much larger issue, 80 to 90% or more of the relationship. According to Joel D. Block, Ph.D., author of The Art of the Quickie, after a few hundred repetitions of your tried-and-true sex routine, it can easily become stale and boring. And left unattended, that boredom in the bedroom will spill over to the entirety of the relationship. There's nothing dull or boring about a hot sex during his lunch break or a smoldering invitation for date night sent to her by email in number seven. Number eight, a healthy relationship and sex life at home helps ease the stress on the job. Anne Christine Anderson Arnten, a psychology doctoral student from the University of Gothenburg, conducted a five-year study on the effects of relationships and work stress. After surveying about 900 men and women, she found that a healthy emotional and sexual relationship can significantly reduce stress at work. Number 9. Sex games can turn a terrible Tuesday into a night of fun and laughter, without even leaving your home. Reason number 8. It reduces stress. Have you ever noticed how sex is the last thing on your mind when you're stressed? Here's the thing, though. Counterintuitively, when you're feeling the least sexy is often when sex can do the most good. In other words, get busy and get some relief. Experiment the first. 
in which you get stressed and turn down sex. Unfortunately, you don't sleep well, tossing and turning. You wake up the next day a bit cranky, and it just goes downhill from there, leaving you tired and stressed in the evening, so you turn down sex. Or, experiment the second, in which you have a rough day, but when proposition for sex, or find the energy to proposition yourself, you pull out all the stops and explode in the whiz-bang of the best damn fireworks ever, which leads you to an amazing night of deep, restful sleep. You wake up the next morning in a relaxed state, feeling a bit playful getting ready for work. At lunch, you send a short note with a pointed invitation for some canoodling tonight, and people just can't annoy you at work today. I know which I would choose. Even better, there's science behind all this. The Science of Sex and Stress Relief Studies have shown that those who recently had intercourse tended to have either lower baseline blood pressures, less of a blood pressure rise during stressful events, or both. These findings suggest that having sex can lead to less of a stress response during challenging situations. Another study looked at women's heart rate and cortisol levels as a measure of stress response and found that women exhibited less of a stress response after positive physical contact with a partner. Emotional support alone didn't have the same effect. Stress increases ACTH and prolactin release. Oxytocin de-stresses through regulating prolactin and ACTH levels. Orgasms produce a rush of oxytocin, more in long-term partnerships, so therefore diminish stress. Sex, even as little as once or twice a week, increases immunoglobulin levels, the stuff in your blood that fights infection and disease, as much as 30% higher than in those who abstain, reason number six for Nuki. Less flu and colds equals less stress. Those having sex three times a week on average appear seven to twelve years younger than their actual ages. How's aging slower for a major stress relief? Reason number seven, your orgasm is a powerful painkiller. One of the many benefits of orgasm in both women and men is that it signals your body to release oxytocin. You know oxytocin, right? The cuddle hormone? Well, not only does oxytocin reduce your stress, reason number eight tanuki, and make you feel closer to your mate, reason number one tanuki, but it also increases your pain threshold. That means headaches are a reason to have sex, not a reason to avoid it. Arthritis symptoms can be alleviated by orgasm, and orgasm during that time can reduce menstrual cramps. Not bad for a single orgasm, eh? Reason number six, no more flu or pesky colds. Regular sex has a therapeutic effect on the body's immune system, keeping it strong and healthy. Having sex keeps your organs healthy. Just as exercising the other muscles of your body contributes to your well-being, sexual activity contributes to the flow of blood to your organs and helps to keep everything in good working condition from top to bottom.